What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another episode of the Manchester United FC 24 Career Mode. Episode number 8 today, we have a game against Southampton to kick things off. But if you did not watch the last episode, highly recommend you go check that out before watching this one because... Oh, well, uh, why did I, I'm so sick of this happening. Just zips you right to the... Oh, I, I'm not in the job search, bro. But it looks like a few decent teams are hiring, though. That's kind of interesting. But where... Now, now I keep getting distracted. Oh, my microphone's over here. Good God. <laughs> Rough start to this video. But, oh, come on. There's the calendar. Okay. So, we tied 2-2 at Liverpool, we, we sent that game against Wrexham in the cup with the second team, lost 1-0, so, Wrexham beat Manchester United in the FA Cup, that's a headline you can take to the bank. The defending winners are in round three, but, new, we beat Newcastle 2-1, should have won by at least five, but, it is what it is, but, today we have Southampton. We're probably going to play this game against Brighton as well, and then we'll probably simulate these three games here to end off the January transfer window. I'm not sure where Crystal Palace are in the league, but we might leave off with them too. So, big, big game here against Southampton. We actually lost to them in the first game I ever simmed to this career mode, so I'm looking to get a little bit of revenge here against the Saints, but we're, not, we're fielding our strongest lineup at full fitness, as one should do. Let's take down the Saints. Cameras trained on one man, facing his former club, he'll want to make a point. Stay with us, we'll have all the action for you from Manchester here on EA TV Live. The floodlights are shining down on the players here at Old Trafford in Manchester. I'm your match commentator Derek Ray and sitting alongside me the former Arsenal, West Ham and Coventry midfield player Stuart Robson and it's all about action from the Premier League in this case it's Manchester United up against Southampton well Derek when looking forward to this game you can't help but notice there are some great matchups all over the pitch particularly in those central areas whichever team wins more of those battles will win the game This is the team Manchester United will go with. Andre Onana is the goalkeeper. Lisandro Martinez plays with Matthijs de Ligt in central defence. And the main striker today is Marcus Rashford. And here's how it looks for Southampton. Well, in this shape, unless their wing-backs play further forward, there won't be any width in their attacks, which then puts a lot of pressure on the strikers to provide the goal threat. All right, welcome to a cold Old Trafford underway. day this January. We will take on the Saints of Southampton here at Old Trafford, like I've mentioned already. But Southampton are playing a pretty deep five of the back Taylor formation Howard here. Dennis. So will we be able to break them down? I'm more than Fernandez capable on the ball. of doing that, in my opinion. Onuachu. So, yeah, let's win this ball back, please. Fernandez. Almost. Any time now. Any time now. There we go. Okay. Defending. All right. Let's get off and running here. Michael Olise. Oh, Hoyland! Yes. Rifled it in on his weak foot. Rasmus Hoyland makes it one 0 Manchester United. 18 goals in the Premier League. That makes it now for number. Again, Rashford creates so the space, sweet, just slips That's through Hoyland, one touch, player. bang, back of the net. Ramsdale never even stood a chance. 
Come on, Rasmus Hoyland. That's a star boy right there. Come on. Delicht. Diogo Dallo on the ball. Manuel Ugarte. Rashford. Oh, beauty. Oh, boy, oh, no, he's offside. He I thought we worked that to an absolute well, treat there. To the ball, and oh, his friggin' behind, toenail. But he does ah. Make spaces. Oh, so his boot. But, ah, uh, the chances are just going to keep on coming, man. It's just a matter of burying them when we actually get them. Come on, fellas. And the pass deftly cut out. Rashford. Dangerous position. Oh, here we go. It's Bruno Fernandez. Oh, it's a crucial block there for Southampton. Oh, hell, man. We're breaking through. We're breaking through Luke Shaw's cross. Dello! Oh, why did I say Luke Shaw's cross? It's probably because he was a quick sub. But, oh, that really should have been a goal. That really should have been a goal there by Dallow. Ah! Oh, Hoyland, he could be on for a second here. It's Rasmus Hoyland. Oh, it's a decent oh, save there by Aaron Ramsdale, to be fair. It's a decent it. save, to be honest. Like Bruno Fernandez to, to whip tally. in the corner, to the back Run stick. Well, no one's there. Well. De Litt, can we get it in again? Matthias De Litt. And De Litt actually works some really decent space here. Oh, Nothing comes of oh Rashford, hammer it. Oh, of course it's just away. wide, man. Of course it's just wide. Really should be Bloody hell, man. It's Why can't we be clinical? Support. We would have a thousand goals if we could just be clinical. But, oh. Uh, guess it's uh, not Ramsdale meant to be. They're going to pass it around the back. Why isn't the referee blown for halftime? The there it is. Halftime, 1 0 at the break. Could be three or four very easily, but the story of our season, man, just not clinical so enough. Far, Rasmus Hoyland. I mean, well, the second goal, well. the second shot was a decent save by Ramsdale, but I thought we a lot oh well, is what it is. And he had a really second half play. is coming to you very, very shortly. I think I will end up bringing Masrawi on for Shaw, but other than that, should be how I line up for the rest of the second half. So, yeah. Oh, honestly, I'm thinking about bringing Garnacho on for Rashford. I'm thinking about it. May do it, may not, but I'm thinking about it. Let's get the second half underway. Oh, oh, Nana. I wanted that pass to go to Martinez. Oh, thank God Martinez was able to make up for it. Bloody hell, man. Oof. Okay. Oh, we might have a chance here out of this. Come on, make that run. Bruno in space. It's gonna slip in Hoyland, oh, but the ball's too far forward. Ah. Action from the Premier League coming your way here on EA TV. It's Southampton facing Nottingham. Oh, Hoyland! Oh, he's just the put it wide, man. Rasmus, Rasmus, Rasmus. You gotta be finishing chances like that. I'm honestly gonna bring Lenny Yoro off for Delit just to give him some rest. Delit use seems to lo lose fitness very quickly, but. Ah, ha, 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 man. Man, oh, man, oh, man. Dallo. Oh, come on. Surely this is the one to air it. End it. Rasmus Hoyland with the brace. Assisted by Bruno Fernandez. Great team goal to Stretford end. Rasmus Hoyland gets on the score sheet. Beautiful work goal by your Red Devils. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. Man, Hoyland just... He just keeps on burying him. He just keeps on burying him. Dallow worked it through to Fernandez who tapped it across for Rasmus Hoyland. Aaron Ramsdale never stood a chance. 2-0, a brace for number 9, and our Danish superstar is on the score sheet once again. Come on, the Reds! Armel Belakotchap. And there it is, the full time whistle. Alright, 2-0, clean sheet. That's a performance to be proud of right there. We're staying in the title race. That's a big, big win. Very happy with that. We take Southampton down here at home. 
good results, good performances all around, particularly by that man who's the difference maker today. And that's a big, big day for your Red Devils as we continue our hunt for the Premier League title. It's Manchester United 2, Southampton 0. Okay then, we're taking on Brighton here in the next game of this episode. Here's how, here's another update here on the Premier League table. We're actually currently tied with Man City. If we win this game, we go on 48 points, which would put us 4 points behind Liverpool. So, we are within touching distance, but we're going to need Liverpool to drop points here at some point. Hopefully very soon. It looks like they don't even have another game for them. Oh, they play Ipswich. I wonder who's going to win that game. But we will take on Brighton and Hove Albion here at Old Trafford once again. Few changes. Uh, Maguire comes in for Martinez just to give him a little bit of a rest. He was looking tired. And Ahmad comes in for Elise. Other than that, I think we can take down Brighton with this lineup. The man to watch. In wonderful form, can he add to his goal-scoring haul today on EA TV? And welcome everyone to England's Northwest. The action soon to get underway here at Old Trafford. I'm Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me, ready to provide all the technical and tactical analysis, is Stuart Robson. And very much looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League. It is Manchester United, and they take on Brighton. Thanks, Derek, as always. This should be a good game. Great atmosphere inside the stadium. We've got two teams full of quality, some interesting matchups, and two coaches that want to play an attractive brand of football. What more could you ask for? Here's the lineup for Manchester United. Andre Onana is the goalkeeper. Matthijs de Ligt plays alongside Harry Maguire in central defence. And the focal point in attack today, Marcus Rashford. And a look at the lineup for Brighton. Well, in this shape, their two holding midfield players will be key today. If they can get on the ball and dictate the play, protect the two centre-backs, it will then allow the attacking players to show their creative quality. Welcome back to Old Trafford so once again. We are here to take on Brighton and Hove Albion as our quest for the Premier League Championship continues. Oh, uh, can Watch. we get the bloody ball off him? There we go. Well, that was that not where I wanted press. that pass to go. Thank God DeLitt was able to recover it. But All right, Darwin Nunes Ugasi. will be trying to help his former team out in the title hunt. And we will just try to... Beat the hell out of Harry Brighton and continue now. our hopes for the championship. Bruno oh, has it. damn it. It's okay. going to be well, I'll take it. Kick. Oh, I'm at. I'm at. Oh, Tell it's bloody just taken away from him. Just, man. Oh, my goodness. Oh, come on. We're going to need a big challenge here, fellas. Viefer. Come on. Oh, Garte, Delit. There we go. United Can we send ways. Marcus Rashford? He's found himself in a little bit of space. Play it over. Ahmad Diallo. Oh, it's off the freaking post. Oh, are you kidding me? Oh, it's so beautifully worked for Ahmad Diallo. Oh, are you kidding me? That's by far the best chance of the game. So close for Ahmad. Bloody hell. Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. 
What's well, Ahmad again? He plays it across for Hoyland, and it's saved by Anthony Lopez. Ah. The chances are starting to come now. It's been a midfield battle and a half for this whole first half, but we're starting to get the chances now. And it's been beaten by Nunez there. We're going to have to track back with McGuire. It's saved by Onana. Whew, the game's picking up now. Oh, come on. One last chance before the half's over. I'm at it. Blocked. Of course it is. Time left. That concludes the first half. Just can't get the chances, man. It's so much harder to score in this game than it was 24, 23, even 22. Oh my heavens! So hard to score, but nil nil at halftime. What more can I say, man? The chances are coming. We just need some luck on our side. Oh, Ahmad was so close there. Ahmad's been the best player on the pitch, man. It's honestly amazing to watch, but I'm going to bring on Lenny Yoro to give the Litz some rest and the usual halftime sub as Rowie comes on and we switch Dallow over. Man, Luke Shaw has the fitness of a dead dog. But, so back underway. All right, let's go. Intriguing second half in prospect. Oh, Hoyland! Oh, come on! That's the second time we smashed the woodwork. Oh, my goodness gracious. Oh, and here come Brighton. Thank God, Dallow. How many times are we going to hit that bloody post today? Jesus. Oh, no. Nana. Oh, it's safe. Get the... Are you kidding me? Of course it just goes magically straight back to him. Of course it does. Oh my god. Well, when you see this again, shouldn't be put in that position in the first place. What's Mas Rowie doing? Stopping. Jesus Christ, man. Ugh. Can't blame that on on. They tried to do his part, but just deflected it straight in the Jao Pedro's path. Like, oh my God! And the fact that we've had like two really good saves against us, and the post that came to their defense twice, and it's like, oh my God! And here they come again. They just, they're just able. To, the AI man. That's like, what am I meant to do to defend this? But. Here comes the one who's been the best player on the pitch so far today, and of course the cutback just goes right back to them. And of course the pass that I get right after they give it back to us goes straight to them. Of course. Joao Pedro, can he find the right pass? And he's in. Oh my God! How have we been cut open again? So shit, man. It's so shit. I don't even want to watch this. So stupid. This is actually so stupid. It's embarrassing. It's actually embarrassing, man. Okay. Can we go get one back? Play it into Xerxes. Please. Xerxes, I beg of you. Jesus Christ. Put the ball in the net! You idiot! Fuck! Nunez. And the counter looks on here. Options available. Oh my god. Dude, we're just getting cut open constantly. We suck. We absolutely suck. Why are we losing 2 0 at home to Brighton, man? Get the ball. Oh my Jesus Christ. What a. Oh. Man. Stupid. This is absolutely stupid. Making sure nothing came of it. Can't even begin this shit. This is unbelievable. Rashford. Rashford. Oh my god. Every time! Every single now. time! Nothing! Options There's the no incoherence Coming. whatsoever. We might as well get away the penalty. Really oh my Jesus. No wonder he's frustrated out in this. Well, there's been a real lack of energy right from the start of the game. Good pull on back here. 
getting the touch. Managed to get it out of there. Could be. Oh, about time. Maynu drills one know. into the back of the they net. Give me a freaking ball, you idiot. Oh, my heavens. Well, here's the replay, and you can see it's why the manager. Beautiful the goal from Manu, really but we play. shouldn't be Probably down too in this too position, a dangerous dude. area. We and shouldn't. at this level, if you keep doing that, you're gonna get punished. It's just not good enough. 2-1. Manu finds something. We're back underway as we reflect on the goal that's made it 2-1. Can we potentially go find an equalizer? Don't blow that whistle, ref. Don't you dare blow that whistle, ref. What do I gotta do different? What do I have to do different? Someone please explain to me. Please. I would love to know. I would love to know. <sighs> All right, Europa League game versus Rangers. Second team's going out. There we go. Oh crap, I forgot. Maguire and Yoro are going to be at low fitness. They were probably the reason what cost us the last game. So Lindelof and Johnny Evans, you get the start today. Quick Sim, 3-1 win. Xerxes, Xerxes, and who else scored? Xerxes, Xerxes, and Mount. There we go. 3-1 win. Good stuff. Well, next game up against Fulham. I'm still beyond pissed about the Brighton game. We're going to quick sim this one at Craven Cottage. 2-2 draw. Hoyland, Muniz, and a Wobi score. Bettina found the equalizer late on. Yeah. All right, another sim game here in the Europa League. We're taking on a team from Romania, I believe. Uh, I think the only change I'm going to make to the second team is Lindelof will start over Yoro because Yoro just played quick sim. 3-1 win. There we go. Bruno Fernandez came on and got a goal and Xerxes had a brace early on. There we go, fellas. All right, guys. I'm not working on any deals. I know it's the January transfer window, but I'm confident with the team. I am just going to skip through deadline day. I don't know why it's telling me about all this stuff. I just... Can I just not advance the whole deadline day? I can't. Oh, okay. I can hold it. There we go. Yes, I want to skip deadline day. There's no point of me doing it. I'm not selling anybody. I'm not bringing in anybody. So, is what it is. I'm the fourth, dude. Oh my god. What is it with this friggin... This game has so many bugs in it, man. We'll leave it to EA to keep releasing unfinished product. But... If we don't win this game, we'll fall down to fourth, dude. We're falling out of it. We're ten points behind Liverpool now. We gotta get our head out of our ass, fellas. We gotta get our head out of our ass. Uh, we'll... Quick sim this one against Palace. First team's going out here. I will bring DeLitt back into the... Never mind, I won't bring DeLitt back in the lineup because he's on 60% fitness for some reason. Don't know why, but he is. Quick Sim. <sighs> We're falling apart, fellas. We're falling apart. Fellas, 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 fellas. I think I've got to do some serious works on the tactics here because... If I don't, we're going to keep crumbling down this table. And I do not want that. We're sitting fifth at the moment. Fifth, my guy. Fifth. Fifth. The fact that we're in fifth is unbelievable to me. Good thing we're facing fourth next, and hopefully we'll be able to take some points off them. But I think i got to work on my tactics, 
tactics and stuff too. At this point, I think we've fallen out of the title race. I think we just gotta worry about finishing third, but yeah guys, if you enjoyed today's video, make sure you smash that like button, leave a comment down below telling me what you thought of this episode and why. Subscribe notifications turned on soon so you never miss a future upload and don't forget to join the Patreon if you want early access to all these videos and much more. I will see you in the next episode, guys. We'll take on Tottenham Hotspur. And yeah, I'll see you then, guys. Take care and peace.